Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to do a pour. This is quite a big canvas. It is a jazz art. Right, we got 12 by 24. So it's 305 millimeters or by 610. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a pour <laughs> or a pour and it's going to be I'm going to have some negative space and see what magic can be created so uh, colors of choice today are where's my white gone Oh, I like that one. For the background and also in the pour, I'm going to have the Fast Student Acrylic. Mixed. All my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. This one is quite runny because it's for the, the background. Um, then I have Yellow Ochre. And... I have some bronze. <laughs> the word disappeared. Um, so the yellow okra is Marie's. The bronze is Deco Art. The um, this is really, really, really runny. Um, burnt sienna and um, that is Reeves fine acrylics and as I said they all have Floetrol and water And they all have silicon. Now, silicon, except for the white. The white, I never put white silicon in my white. Purely because when I use it for negative space, that's not going to be cool. So, we have that going on. Use up all of those now so I can wash those out and reuse them. Here's my hand towel. There we go. Um, so My plan is to pour through that middle bit. And see what shows up, really. Uh, <laughs> that's the magic of this kind of painting, really, isn't it? It's the what's going to happen factor. I don't know. What will this paint do today? I don't know. I don't know. What I do do is I ask my paintings to create something that they enjoy being and have fun being created and fun for me and somebody somewhere will buy them. Okay, so what do you ask your paintings to be? Are you asking your paintings to be something? Or are you just painting? Would you be willing to include your paintings in the creation of themselves? Everything has consciousness. Are you including the consciousness of your painting and your paints and your canvas in the creation of what they're becoming? 
If not, would you be willing to? What magic could get created if you do? Right. How does it get any better than this? All right. Here we go. So, I think we're pretty much swirled quite nicely in there. What do you reckon? I'm going to start at this end. And go right the way off the end. And I don't have much paint on there. What's right about this I'm not getting. All right, gonna need to bring that white a bit closer, what do you reckon? Try not to pour on the paint. And yet, have it so that they meet up pretty quickly. Blub, blub. So let's tip it this way first. not going to be a straight line. Can you notice that? How does it get any better? Just going to join all the bits up. Interesting. Glad I've got plenty of white. Hmm. What am I choosing here? I seem to be choosing to create a mess. A lake mess. This is fun. When I do these little pulley things, I, I love to do it in a way that um, makes people wonder how they all went in those directions. How did she pour it that way? How did she manage to get it run like that? See those two go in completely opposite directions. How does that happen? What does she do? Anything else want to go? This one? This one. Almost looks like little contributories to a river or something. What do you reckon? Let's have give it a blowtorch. That's what I reckon. We've already got quite a bit of cells happening. Lots of air bubbles in my white though. Let's get rid of all of those. Wowza! Oh my god, that's so pretty!
You know what I need is one of those hair things that Mariam uses. Just wondering, do you ever wonder? I wonder, wonder who, who, who wrote the book of love. Do I try and get that to go flat or do I add something to it so that it's Hmm. Okay, let's have the play. Oh look, there's some more lumps. I don't like lumps. Come on you, out. And you. Where did you come from? Get out of my white pot. Not excited about you. Hehehe. <laughs> sorted. Now a matter of last a bit over the side. And it's gone on higgledy piggledies. Right, this doesn't work for me. I have to get this white stuff sorted because 
I like these paintings, but I don't like the higgledy-piggledy look. What about you guys? What do you know? Let me know in the comments if you have some suggestions about what I could be or do different here. Bring some of it back. Quite like this. It's got some pretty cool stuff going on in there. Look at this. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Now I'm going to create all that stuff that I tried to get rid of. <laughs> More lumps in the white. <sighs> what do you require? Painting? Do you require anything? Are you happy the way you are? You go everywhere I've assumed it's not happy the way it is. Pock and pod that. <laughs> He's got some little lines going. This bit down here is so intricately beautiful. Just not excited about this bit. I think I might take my rings off for this bit. <laughs> for those of you that watch me regularly, you'll know I'm, I tend not to take my jewellery off to paint because I just jump in and start painting whenever the mood takes me. But then when I get to a point where I'm going to stick my hands all in it, uh, that's when it's time to take the, the diamonds and sapphires off. And create a totally different reality. It's time to create a change, baby. What's required here? Painting. Um, I can hear you. You're going, what are you doing? That's what I'm doing. Didn't really know what I was doing. Just knew that I didn't like what it was. And I knew that something had to change. And that's what needed to change. However, I haven't got any pins left, so I'm using little shot glasses as my stools. Uh, 
right. Blow torch. Well, that's very different for me. Very, very different. What do you reckon? But it's a lot more. Here we go, let's do some blow up. Oops, I think I might have overcooked some of this. It got a bit warm. I think I like it. I think I like it. I think 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 I like it. Alright guys, what's this over here? Is that another lava paint? Yes. So I saved a lot of that paint, so I'm going to see what I can do with that. I like it. I like it. I like it. So let's get you down and show you what I like about it. So this is the bottom corner. You can see where I overheated some of the paint there, but it's made some pretty funky little And then this line goes all the way up here with these little pretty cells in it. I like that bit there. Look at that. Wispy. It's almost crystalline where the paint got a bit warm. This is fun and funky and different and weird and I like it. Look at that bit, that's pretty. Little tails. I really like this piece here. Almost has 
and these dragonish kind of overtones. Let's swish a lot of this. This bit over here is funky. This bit reminds me of a dragon's head. How's that? So there you are. Let's see how it dries. See how well those little white bits kind of mold out a bit hopefully and uh, yeah I'll show you when it's dry cheers so here it is dried it's dried pretty much exactly the same as it was when it was wet which is really exciting and uh, very pleased with this one it's subtle yet intricate 